Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a while. It is Thursday in Sydney. It is about midday. Um, and I'm gonna go and shoot some uh, focus pull time lapses because I've got some new toys in. Well, I got them in a while ago, but I only have found some time to actually dedicate it to this new stuff today. So let me show you what I'm bringing and then we're gonna go out and um, shoot some cool focus pulls. Here's all the kit. Um, so let's, yeah, let's begin on the left. This is a mounting bracket that goes on the bottom of this. Uh, this is a rail system that goes below the camera. Uh, this is a 5D3 with a 2414 with one of these rings on it and that ring works with this thing which mounts on that thing to uh, twist the focus, um, what do you call it, focusing ring while shooting and all of that is controlled with the second shooter plus uh, connects via this cable and this goes into the camera and because it's daytime and I want to shoot at f1.4 I'm going to put a ND filter on the front of my lens Bear with me guys. So I'm gonna put pretty much some sunnies on my camera uh, so I can shoot wide open. So let's pack my bag and let's go shooting. Scoot, scoot. We are at Sydney's King's Cross. This is what it looks like when it's set up. You may have seen it on the BTS channel on Instagram. So I've got a 10 stop ND filter on there. This is the Kessler Cine Drive, which will control the focusing ring. Plugs into the second shooter plus remote. Let's turn that on. Put the battery, battery cable remote. Uh, this is the shot right now. And uh, yeah. So because it's daytime and I'm shooting wide open, which means there's a huge roll in the lens through which the light comes, I need to stop it down, otherwise the photo would be overexposed. Also, I want to drag the shutter a bit, which means a long exposure, and for that you need a 10-stop ND. So that's why that dark piece of glass is on there. Uh, let's shoot this time lapse and then move on to the next spot. I want to hit up four spots today, and um, yeah, should be good. Second spot, set up and running. This should give us a nice foot to pull through these um, through this fence. Bang! Spot number three set up once again, and here's the view. Pretty good. The time lapse life, my friends, is a life of waiting around and being very patient and just kind of, yeah, being on social media, text messaging, doing some emails, waiting for your shot to finish, which just did. Um, and then, you know, spending hours or days processing, but what you get out of it is always worth it. Um, today's a beautiful day. It's been the, it's the first day with some clouds in about three days. I've been waiting to go out and do this. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying being here. It is absolutely beautiful. This city is just stunning. Like, look at that. Look at this little shelf that I'm sitting on. Love the shape of the city as well. And there you go, there. You've got the upper house, the bridge. Some interesting clouds going on. Lots of nice reflections in the water. Anyways, time to move to the next spot. Here we are at spot number three. Boy, it is windy today. Uh, we're gonna get a nice focus pull through these uh, spins. And yeah, it's looking good. We are, or I am, or we are, at the final spot. It's quite loud here, but what have you? set up for the final shot of the day I think and uh, yeah you get here by that elevator from downstairs it's quite a good spot done shooting I'm now gonna head home and look at these files also have some food um, and yeah, process some of the time, these time lapses and show you guys. It's kind of interesting because I have no idea how this is going to look. Uh, hopefully it looks good. I did one test shot before and um, yeah, it went alright. I put that in that 30 second edit that I uploaded, or that I'm uploading tonight, tomorrow, that you would have seen a couple days ago. Um, tonight I'm also meeting up with a friend who will be composing music for my new showreel, which is finally on its way. It will be three years in the making. 
got big plans and yeah, it's pretty exciting to be working on a big project so yeah, let's head home. Swoosh back home, time travel, am I right? Uh, yeah, gonna jump on the computer now, offload these files, edit them, uh, compile the time lapses and fingers crossed that it's gonna look good, I don't know. Let me know if you like him in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.